I've been asked numerous times if I've quit playing Outriders. Today I bring you guys the answer to that and why I just haven't been interested in the game for a while now. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So Outriders right now is probably in the best spot it's been in since release. No, this doesn't mean in the sense of the community and how many people are actually playing the game right now. I mean it more in the sense of the game is actually pretty solid. It's in a solid state. It's playable compared to what it was like, like way back when, when it was first released and we all just struggled with the bugs and this that, and the other. It was pretty hard for many people to enjoy it. Personally, for me though, even at its worst state, I was still enjoying the game because it still had plenty to do and offer. But as, as much as I was enjoying it from day one, it all of a sudden just crashed. And me, like many, many people, just got seriously bored seriously quickly. It was, it seemed like an overnight thing. I don't think it was, but it seemed now, looking back, like it was just an overnight thing. I don't know, I can't remember what happened, but it's a weird one. Now when the grind was gone for me, the game did become a little stale. I mean I still had things to do, like level other classes, but for me, I knew after doing everything on my trickster, well, once they were leveled, the same grind uh, for that same loot awaited me, and that's why for me the game kind of crashed. PCF then reintroduced, uh, well, introduced a free DLC, with a massive update which seemingly for a lot of people fixed the game from the majority of the game breaking bugs that they were experiencing. Also adding in new content for free. This I feel 100% was a great move by PCF because it truly was what the game needed and it well the community needed sugar coating before any new DLC was to come out. I mean like if the DLC came out and the game literally was still left in the state it was uh, they didn't do anything with it just kept quiet as they were doing until they released or announced this new dlc the uh, four new expeditions this that, and the other uh, if they would have uh, completely left that out of the game and just worked on the main dlc which comes sometime next year i don't feel it would have been all well as quite as popular as it will be due to a lot of people still being angry at pcf but them sugarcoating the community dropping free dlc putting the game in a decent state before the main dlc comes out is a well was a great great move we cannot deny that now when this dlc will come out i haven't got a clue but as soon as it's announced obviously i'll let you guys know uh, but i will be streaming probably a week or two earlier just to prep for the dlc get used to outriders because i know if i jump back on it now I'd just be so lost i really would but yeah i ain't quitting outriders anytime soon i made some great friends playing the game many of you guys who supported me while streaming trust me people those days will indeed return let's just hope this dlc is great and it's what we want but yeah that's all i'm waiting for it's just for me right now i get real bored real quick of games like these when there's just nothing else to do i mean i've grinded the heck out of this game just can't do it no more it's the same with destiny i mean destiny's got new stuff coming i went back for the 30th anniversary event but it just felt i mean it was new but it just felt like the same shit they keep adding in it's the same shit over and over dare i say it reskinned it just feels like that to me it's just one of those things i mean yes when witch queen comes out you gotta jump in and play that but until then destiny's a hard one for me to actually play and enjoy at the minute it's it's just crazy like that now when is actually the dlc is coming out we don't know yet what pcf have teased uh, it might come within the new year so does that mean early january that would be absolutely amazing what I will say is February is a busy time for gaming uh, and they need to time this right for sure because let's face it, timing a game, a great game wrong and we know this from past experience, uh, can ruin a game, the best of games. Time 4 2 is a prime example, that game was incredible, released at the wrong time, more or less failed. Not many people even experienced it because there's just so many other games out in and around where it was released so yeah shame on respawn and shame on ea because that could have been one of the best multiplayer games i mean the story the story in titanfall 2 was probably the best story i've played but even the multiplayer side of uh, titanfall 2 another level another level 
Also, the problem is, I mean, people have already been stained by PCF, left with a bit of taste in their mouth due to past experience with outriders. I feel an ill-timed release. People will pick and choose bigger and more promising titles if released at the same time. People will skip Outriders if it releases, say, at the same time as the Witch Queen. No doubt about it. I mean, you still get some people playing it, but I guarantee you, uh, the bigger loot issue is Destiny. More people just jump on Destiny, so they need to time it right for sure. But yeah, guys, I haven't quit uh, Outriders, just having a break. And I will return very soon indeed. New Year's just around the corner, guys. I mean, if they just surprise drop it January 1st, imagine that. Pop, that would be incredible. But yes, guys, the end of the video has arrived. I hope I answered any questions you may have had regarding me and Outriders. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.